<laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is our morning live get-together here on Facebook. I am all silly because of the silliest thing. I'll tell you what it is in a second. But first, um, welcome. This is Friday, July 23rd. This is Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together, where we take a look at... Um, Okay, I need to get into silly mode because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get this stupid green off my face. Um, let me just get this out of the way. So yesterday, okay, this is what's keeping me from being concentrated in what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let me put this phrase on the screen. Uh -uh. So yesterday I'm watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race and I love that show. Uh -uh -uh. And... And there's this stupid phrase that somebody said, and, and it just made me like just spit out my drink because it was absolutely funny. And I'm going to share it with you today because I can't stop thinking about this stupid phrase. Not so shallow, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> somebody said this, and I thought it was like the most ingenious thing. And I have been thinking all night for great excuses on instances in which I could possibly use this phrase. And, of course, I didn't want to share it with anyone because I figured, no, this has got to be my phrase. I'm going to be the first one to use it. But, no, one has to be generous about these things. So, please find opportunities in your lives so that whenever somebody gets shallow, I suppose, you can come ahead and say, not so shallow, Frida Kahlo. And now that I've gotten this out of my system, um, let me get back into our usual programming. I'm going to leave not so shallow here for a second. And I'm wondering why my image looks like it's breaking down. I hope we're not going to have internet problems today because that always bumps me out. Anyhow, welcome to Coffee and Headlines. Today is Friday, July 23rd. We have many, many important headlines and, um, and important information to go through. And uh, we're going to do that today and um, take it from there. So... Let us dive into the news, as always, and then we'll go through your questions and comments and all that good stuff. As usual, I let you know that if you are new to the broadcast, uh, it would be lovely if you let us know. And you can do that by simply adding the, the word new to your comment. And if there's something really important that you want to bring up during the broadcast or that you would like me to comment on, just add the letter Q at the beginning of your comment and we will get along just fine. And if you say something filthy, like sometimes I do, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to say to you, not so shallow, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> but first, let's take a look at the news. Okay, so, um, oh my God, somebody has broken into song. I love it. <laughs> this past Wednesday, this past Wednesday, this past Wednesday, the municipality 
of Bahia de Banderas, just north of Puerto Vallarta, reported the highest number of daily new coronavirus cases in the last 16 months. That is 134 cases, just like Puerto Vallarta less than two weeks ago. This is the first time the municipality goes over 100 daily new cases of coronavirus. Given the increase of cases throughout the state, but primarily in Bahia de Banderas, Nayarit Governor Antonio Echevarria has introduced additional new statewide restrictions, including suspending all summer school programs programmed um, throughout the state, as well as all tour bus activities in the capital city of the peak. Meanwhile, here in Puerto Vallarta, where less than two weeks ago we went over 100 daily new cases for the first time ever, we continue to beat our own record this time with 320 new cases reported on a single day this past Wednesday. This is probably a good time to mention that eyewitness reports at the vaccination site for folks 18 to 29 indicate that response has been uh, overwhelmingly positive with long lines and waiting periods. A friend of a friend reported, I am blocks away and I'm already standing in line. So it is a good thing that the population, at least this time around, is, um, is uh, responding favorably to the, the, the vaccination campaign. Um, but, you know, while we're dropping bombs, Jalisco, our state, has now become the third state in the country with the highest number of COVID-19 cases under the state of Mexico and Mexico City. Now, you're probably wondering, and I have been wondering, how did things um, get so out of hand? at least here in our state, although it's been pretty clear to me that in the last couple of weeks, things have gotten way out of hand, out of hand in many places around the world uh, with the virus all of a sudden seeming to skyrocket. And this may have everything to do with this new Delta variant. But here is a statement that may offer a bit of perspective as to what is going on here in the state of Jalisco. And I heard the, the rector of the well, how the university say this the other day. Um, of the 32 states in Mexico, when it comes to the Federation distributing vaccines among all of our states, Jalisco is in 27th place. What I'm saying here is that there are 26 states in our country that have received more vaccines than we have. Now think about this for a second. We know our governor, we know Governor Alfaro to be very, very insistent on us getting more vaccines, and he has been very vocal about this for some time. So it could be, and then this is my totally uneducated guess, that the Federation has seen the way Jalisco has been proactive throughout the whole pandemic, and it is quite possible that... Um, the Federation decided, well, Jalisco is doing just fine. Let us focus our attention in other states. But now we see what has happened. We see what has happened. The fact that uh, we are clearly not receiving all the vaccines that we are supposed to be getting, given the fact that Jalisco is of a certain size and brings in a certain amount of capital and money and, and so forth and so on to the country. So it gives me a better appreciation for what our governor is doing in trying to wrestle with the federal authorities to get us more vaccines sooner rather than later. So I hope that bit of perspective helps us understand a little bit about what's going on. Let me get rid of not so shallow Frida Kahlo while we're talking about the serious stuff. <laughs> Um, and we are, by the way, talking about the serious stuff. Um, if you are a local bus rider, brace yourself as there continues to be problems with too many passengers riding the bus, particularly during rush hours. So if you are fortunate enough to have other choices, whether you choose to take a cab or you choose to walk, just consider avoiding local buses whenever you can. 
Of course, if you see a local bus that doesn't have a lot of people on it and you want to ride on the bus, by all means, go for it. Um, I also want to let you know that the local health board, this is the one here in Puerto Vallarta, the local health board met um, this week and they have announced that they are going to increase all inspections even more this weekend and they're going to make them harsher. They have claimed that this weekend, this time, for real, no bullshit, if they see a venue that is crowded, they will shut it down on the spot. This, of course, hopefully will will be the case because um, we've known or it's been our impression that the, the local authorities are not doing enough when it comes down to scolding uh, or, or punishing these, these venues. So hopefully they will actually shut something down. And, and I do mean that. I don't mean to cause hardship to employees that are working hard. I don't mean to, you know, be mean on, at a specific industry. But hey, if you cannot follow the guidelines, you know, there have to be consequences. Um, it is comforting to see that the local authorities are now increasing a lot of information that... Um, they're posting on social media. Yesterday, I took this post and translated it and posted it on our Facebook page. This one has to do with what is a close contact and when you should you isolate. And uh, I translated this yesterday. Here's another one that I thought is important and I wanted to bring this up. This one uh, from yesterday also tells us what the symptoms are that we should be thinking about when we are concerned about the Delta variant. And what we learn is if you have diarrhea, if you have a headache that doesn't want to go away, if you start throwing up, if your nose, if your nose runs, if your body aches, if your throat aches, and if you're feeling tired and weak, these are the symptoms that uh, have to do with the Delta variant. So Please, if you are experiencing a number of these symptoms, it is probably a good idea that you get tested and that you make phone calls and you get um, you get certain that you are not dealing with coronavirus. Um, as long as we're on the Delta variant, here is an interesting read in English on how it achieves its ultra-fast spread. This was sent to me by a dear friend of mine, and I always appreciate when you share articles that come from reliable sources, as this one, which came from nature.com. And as long as we're sharing interesting, thought-provoking information, another friend shared <clears throat> this other insightful editorial from the Washington Post explaining how vaccination can help the virus weaker, but vaccination is no bulletproof uh, vest. And this should be an important read, given the fact that not only here, but in other places um, in the world, all of a sudden, the number of active cases is increasing rather rapidly. Let us take a look at the weather just to see what kind of weather we can expect this weekend. And we'll take it from there. Haha. <laughs> How do TV weathermen get off? By convincing idiots that the world is going to end every other week or so. Okay. Well, that's what snarky carrot weather has to say today. I see that we are at 27 degrees right now. Celsius feels like 31. Humidity is at 85%. And that would be 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Our weather forecast for today will be possible light rain in the evening and overnight with a high temperature of 31, low temperature of 25 Tomorrow, Saturday, we'll have possible light rain in the evening and overnight. I say make it so. Uh, a high temperature of 32, low temperature of 25. And Sunday, rain in the evening and overnight with um, a high temperature of 32 and a low temperature of 24. A couple of other uh, headlines that I want to share with you before we get into our chit-chat mode. Let me see. We're starting with this one. Um, I was browsing Facebook and this post caught my attention for no particular reason other than the fact that I was intrigued by the artwork. The artist says, hello friends, 
I mean, Jalisco looking for more projects. If someone is interested in a mural or art, you can contact me by personal message, private message. I also leave my portfolio with my work and I thank you very much. So I was drawn to the images. I decided to check uh, the artist's website. And uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, his name is Jorge Prado. Uh, beautiful work in case you happen to be looking for a mural for your home or business. Um, I don't know the artist. I simply just, you know, caught my attention. How nice to see that an artist that is good at marketing his or her own work in an attractive visual way. So if you're curious, like I'm curious, uh, you may want to take a look at the, the work that he's doing. And he's not bad looking, I might say. He could become my new future um, ex-husband. See, that's when you say to me, not so shallow, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> And the last thing that I want to share just makes my heart so warm and happy and, and just, just, just happy. I want to show you um, a bit of good news. And what I'm going to show you is photos of a new family. There we go. Let me show you photos of this family because what you're looking at is the very first same-sex couple to legally adopt in the state of Jalisco. These two women's path crossed the path of a five-year-old boy who had spent his entire life in an orphanage. And this past uh, July 13, the court decided in their favor and the boy received his birth certificate with the names, the last names of both his two moms, and will now grow uh, surrounded with love in a family of his own. So let us hope that this groundbreaking case will open the doors to many other same-sex couples looking to start their own families. So I think it's nice to try to leave our broadcast or leave the news section of the broadcast with at least one bit of good news or something that we can be hopeful about. And now let us take a quick look at some of your comments just to see what is on your minds, on your shallow Frida Kahlo minds. Let's take a quick look. Oh, Mark, I ask myself every single goddamn day, <laughs> where did the week go? I love it. Oh, let me, let me cough really quickly. Ah, much better. Let's take a quick look at what everybody is up to. Um, uh, I guess I'm talking about, you're talking about me? What are you talking about, Albert? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, let's see. As an original Brooklynite, love your NYC photos. Uh, that's definitely not for me because I don't take NYC photos, or at least I haven't in 20 years since I lived up there. Um, okay, Troy, I love it. Troy broke into song. Love that. It is Friday. Um, thank you for that, Marsha. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes it's, I, I, you know, I, because I feel a certain responsibility of being happy and, and some, some days are better than others, but today, you know, it's like, what are you going to do? We need to do whatever we can do to make ourselves happy, regardless of what's happening around surrounding us. Uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, Canada is growing down in cases. Thank God our restrictions are lower. What a relief. Just, just ride that privilege responsibly, Angelica, because it is when restrictions are lower that we become a little loose in our ability to have common sense, I suppose. So if Canada is indeed lowering restrictions, you know, my wish for you is that you guard that as something precious because it's, um, you know, it's, it's our life that we're looking after. Um, let's take... Karen says that is a discouraging statistic being number 27. Yes, absolutely. When I read that, I was like, whoa, we are this proactive, pro-positive state and our governor has been doing all this stuff. And when I saw that, I was like, 
I was like, where is the what the fuck parrot? Oh my God, where is, where is that what? Exactly. What the fuck? I mean, how could we possibly not be getting more vaccines? So I'm glad that our governor has been pulling a telmex on the federal government and just, you know, making sure that we get what we should get. Um, ba, ba, dee, ba, 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 ba. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> oh, my God, Dave, that is not even funny, but. With those symptoms, I think I've had Delta my whole life now, now. Uh, and Michael says, just add sore eyes to that list and you could have dengue. And yes, dengue is here. And that's another thing that we need to worry about. Um, but, um, oh, Dios mio, it is what it is. Craving Pad Thai, says Jeannie. Craving Pad Thai, says Paco. I think this is a good weekend to go and find some Pad Thai. Uh... Thank you for that, Dave. I It made me so very happy to read that bit of news. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that doesn't solve anything, but, but what a great, great bit of news. Uh, and I see that a lot of you feel the same way. Um, yes, great news, great news, and we need great news. Um, let us hope that we hear more of same-sex uh, couples that are able to to do this joey and isaac say they have thought about adopting one day oh my god you'd be the cutest parents oh my god my friends joey and isaac who are the publishers of the gay guide here in town oh my god they would be so cute i mean they have a hen and a rooster and god knows how many other pets i mean they would be the most awesome parents good lord uh let's see what else we have um no i haven't john the, the 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 opening ceremony was just this morning i think they started broadcasting at 6 a.m i slept in this morning so i haven't had a chance to see anything the country of tongo needs a gold medal for the guy with no shirt waba waba well i wonder if that is the same guy that has been the the flag guy for the past two olympics because it was it last olympic that they had a guy that was just yummy um, is Jalisco the 27th less populated states in Mexico? No. How are they determining the distribution? Well, that is the $100 million question, Troy. Um, the parameters that the federal government has been using that we know of have to do with age. Uh, and we talked about this at length yesterday or the day before. But above and beyond that, to know exactly who is sitting in what meeting to decide, okay, today we're going to send these many um, vaccines to Chiapas and these many vaccines to Coahuila and these many vaccines to Sinaloa because of blank. That's, that's the million-dollar question. I wish I knew exactly how those decisions are made, but I am grateful to see that vaccination seems to have been kicked in the rear um, and we see that with the vaccination that is going on starting today for people that are 18 plus. Uh, so that makes me very happy. Of course, I am still wondering, OK, when do I get my second vaccine? Um, but I'm also starting to think, is the population getting the message that having the vaccines does not guarantee anything? It does not mean that you can just stop following the guidelines. I mean, to me, that that's become kind of like the the important part for me and I hope that we're all <clears throat> or many of us are on the same page and that is the fact that the vaccines help us uh, fight against a case of COVID-19 should we get the, the 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 virus but it doesn't prevent us it, it doesn't keep us from getting it number one and number two it doesn't prevent us from spreading it to other people even if we are asymptomatic and these are the important news uh let's see what else there is i 
Sure could have used your mango fork, Paco. Just cleaning the last few from the tree. Think I wasted more than I wasted more than received. Well, Michael, there you go. Mango forks. It's a great solution. Uh, da, 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 da. I beg your pardon. Okay, so I have no idea what this is about, but I'm now I'm curious. I need to go back and read all your messages. I love it. Oh. Oh, you guys are talking about the the uh, the, the Tonga guy. Oh, is, is it the same guy? Karen Miller seems to think it's the same guy. I think it's been two or three Olympics that he's been flaunting his very well-oiled body. You know, meanwhile, here we are just sitting around making jo jokes about nothing. Anyhow, um, I am down to the very last comments. Needless to say, I'm going to go look for the Olympics. Um... Lynn says, I had my second vaccine and I have been sick for two days. Be prepared to possibly need to lay low. Thank you very much for that, Lynn. I am anticipating that uh, I am anticipating that I'm going to have some symptoms when I get my second vaccine. And I am so grateful of the fact that there's so much wonderful television to binge on these days. And with that thought in mind, I think we're at the end of today's broadcast. As always, I am grateful for your company, for your comments, for your thoughts and your suggestions. And I hope we will have a good weekend. I hope that you will um, keep us in mind if you're enjoying the broadcast and you are finding something useful out of our community, something inspiring. Remember, we are here uh, because you make us possible and you make us possible through buymeacoffee.com where you can either buy us coffee or pursue a membership that is renewable every year. It renews your membership until you cancel it. So if you want to cancel, make sure you remember to cancel. But if you don't want to cancel, Luna and I are going to be so very happy. Have a great weekend. I hopefully will see you tomorrow. And if not, I will see you sometime in the near future. Take care. <laughs>